Johnny Depp's personal as well as business life appears to be on the right track lately after he recently won the defamation case against his ex-wife, Amber Heard. However, the 58-year-old has sued news group newspapers, the business publishing The Sun, and Dan Wooten for labeling him a wife beater, but lost the UK trial in 2020, which finally led him to lose blockbusters including Fantastic Beasts 3 and Pirates of the Caribbean 6. But the good news is that he has now proven in front of the entire world that all these accusations were false, and he's not a wife beater, and as a result of this, it appears that his glorious past is coming back. Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. Today we'll be looking at why Robert Downey Jr. is giving a role to Johnny Depp in Sherlock Holmes 3. Yeah, you heard it right. So let's start our video. The star of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory sued the 36-year-old actress Amber Heard for $50 million after she wrote an opinion piece for the Washington Post titled, I spoke out against sexual violence and faced our culture's wrath. This must change, she said in 2018 while claiming to be a survivor of domestic violence. She said, like many women, I had been harassed and sexually assaulted by the time I was of college age, but I kept quiet. I did not expect filing complaints to bring justice, and I didn't see myself as a victim. Then two years ago, I became a public figure representing domestic abuse, and I felt the full force of our culture's wrath for women who speak out. In retaliation, Heard countersued her spouse of fewer than two years for $100 million. According to reports, the Aquaman actress has not lost any employment projects, although Deb has. There is no definite information regarding the cast of Sherlock Holmes 3, but multiple reports indicate that Robert Downey Jr. is attempting to get Johnny Depp for the film. According to Fandom Wire, the 57-year-old Avengers Endgame star always wanted to work with famous personalities, and big talks are going on about whether Johnny Depp might come ahead to sign the contract for the movie. Also, a November 2020 tweet stated, A friend in need is a friend indeed. Robert Downey Jr. reportedly pushing for Johnny Depp to have Sherlock Holmes 3 role. Depp helped RDJ in his bad times in 2008. If not for Depp, then we wouldn't have had such an awesome Iron Man. Meanwhile, the movie has gotten delayed due to several reasons, including the COVID pandemic. Director Dexter Fletcher told the Celebrity Catch-Up podcast in 2020, Sherlock's hit its own issues on and off. That's sort of sitting on the back burner at the moment until it becomes clear where the world is at and what's going to happen. Besides Downey Jr. and Jude Law's characters in the film, as Sherlock Holmes and Dr. John Watson respectively, the cast of Sherlock Holmes 3 is a bit of a mystery. So far, there's been no word on whether supporting characters like Inspector Lestrade, Watson's wife Mary, or even Sherlock's older brother Mycroft will return for the next installment in the exceptionally fun franchise, Looper reported. And now, after winning the case against Ember Heard, Johnny Depp looks to have the support of not only his fans, but also a notable Hollywood actor. This is a tremendous boost for Johnny, as it has the potential to alter the entire situation. We had heard that Depp's co-worker and old friend Tim Burton was on his side and campaigning for a successful Hollywood comeback. But it turns out that an Avenger, who has also been a long-standing fan, is now going to save Depp. Robert Downey Jr. may appear to be a revered, moral, and well-groomed superstar today, but his history was anything from virtuous. Downey is one of the few Oscar-nominated actors to portray P50522, an inmate who earned 8 cents per hour scrubbing pots and pans. Downey was found unconscious on the bed of an 11-year-old boy after entering a random residence and collapsing there. In addition, he admitted to paying for prostitution and other offenses. Each is described in the Guardian's article. However, this is not the Robert Downey Jr. that many are familiar with. Due to his portrayal of Tony Stark in the MCU films, Robert Downey Jr. is now beloved by fans. And if you've seen Avengers Endgame, you know that Downey has retired from this job, and he loves us 3000. Now, Downey is one of the most renowned performers in Hollywood. Downey sympathizes with Depp since he has undergone a spiraling decline. Reportedly, he has publicly defended Johnny Depp and labeled him innocent after seeking to win him a role in the third Sherlock Holmes film. Multiple reports claim that Downey intended to save Johnny Depp's career. Warner Bros. has ostensibly broken ties with Depp, so it would be intriguing if this ever transpired. Yet, Downey may have the influence to convince them to reconsider. As the trial ended in favor of Depp, Amber Heard is currently under tremendous financial and social pressure. It is likely that she's gone bankrupt and her career is over now. And as far as Depp is concerned, Pirates of the Caribbean producer Jerry Bruckheimer said that Disney is currently developing two scripts for the sixth edition of the franchise, which may include Johnny Depp. During the recent trial, it is known that Depp made a Jack Sparrow joke. Heard was accusing Depp of possessing cocaine and constantly mentioned that he had a jar. If we listen closely, we can hear Johnny Depp muttering to his legal team, a jar of what? A jar of dirt? Pirates enthusiasts are aware that this is a reference to the series as Jack Sparrow carries a jar of dirt on the ship and declares, I have a jar of dirt. 
numerous Disney parks, including Disney World, Disneyland, and others, have modified their attractions to add a rum drinking pirate resembling Depp's portrayal of Captain Jack Sparrow. You can also meet Jack Sparrow, who looks and acts precisely like Johnny Depp when you visit Disney parks. Meanwhile, Amber has admitted to hitting Johnny Depp and intentionally defecating in their bed. And Starbucks is now offering tip jars for customers to pick between Depp and Heard. On the other hand, the media has harshly attacked Amber Heard, especially for her attempts to emulate his clothing's quality. On Twitter, hashtag I stand with Johnny Depp and hashtag justice for Johnny Depp has been trending during the past year. So, how do you feel about the purported endorsement of Johnny Depp's innocence by Robert Downey Jr.? Feel free to offer your opinions in the comments section below. I will return with another entertaining video. Until then, stay tuned.